Hello everyone, Gabe here, PC community developer here at Ubisoft, and today we're diving back into the world of Ghost Recon Breakpoint to talk about what them implementing the Vulcan API means for you. Luckily, we sat down with some of the smart people over on the team who were able to break it all down. So without any other delay, let's get to it. First things first, let's break down what an API is, or an application programming interface, such as DX11, DX12, or Vulkan. In short, it acts as the middleman between your game that you're playing, which in this case is Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and your graphics card. As you throw down some sort of input to the game, like a movement for example with your keyboard or mouse, the game updates its internal states and renders an updated graphics frame. That update is used by the graphics API to generate a list of commands for the graphics card, or as we'll sometimes refer to as the GPU. All of this is happening within your CPU, so there's a lot going on before it actually reaches your GPU. Once that list of commands has been generated, it passes it on to the GPU who processes what will appear on your screen. At a very basic level, this is the collaboration that is happening between your PC's hardware, the rendering API, and the game to bring an image onto your screen. The performance of the game you're playing or graphics intensive task you're doing is driven by the CPU and the GPU and the work that they do together in parallel with each other. The performance you get in the end is determined by the slower of the two. With that, you do have control over the performance you get in-game by adjusting graphics settings. But regardless of how wide or in-depth those settings are, they do have their limits eventually. This is where the API comes in as it can enhance workloads. APIs such as Vulkan offer more flexibility and is able to work more closely with your hardware's capabilities. And as a result, you have less CPU usage. The additional flexibility it offers does come at a cost though, as it adds some additional coding complexity for the team. But we all know how important it is to get the best performance possible, so it's all worth it. So with all that information, why is Vulkan being implemented in Ghost Recon Breakpoint? Despite being over 10 years old, DX11 does offer great performance, but it does come at the cost of higher CPU processing. Some additional features offered on modern graphics cards today also aren't available on older APIs, such as DX11. To address these limitations, the team decided to go with Vulkan based on the improved CPU and graphics card performance, while also allowing them to take advantage of those modern features offered by the latest graphics cards. So now that we know why Vulkan, let's jump into some technical goodness to talk about how these various levels of improved performance are going to be achieved. There are three key features. Improved texture streaming, dynamic buffer cache, and asynchronous compute. Firstly, let's talk about improved texture streaming. Using dedicated data transfer hardware in your GPU, Vulkan allows the game to stream textures in much faster than previously possible while improving the overall smoothness of your gameplay, especially when you're using higher quality texture settings. Next up we have Dynamic Buffer Cache, which thanks to the powerful memory control provided by the Vulkan API, dynamic data that is used to update the graphic state is heavily optimized for multi-threaded usage and has a small memory footprint. This boosts your CPU frame times while reducing memory fragmentation. Finally, we have Asynchronous Compute, which is technology that is supported on newer GPU architecture that allows for more graphic work to be done in parallel. This reduces your GPU frame times and increases your frame rate. Before we wrap this up though, there are a few important things to note if you want to enable Vulkan. Firstly, the system requirements for Vulkan are the same as they were for DX11, though the team recommends having a graphics card with at least 4GB of video memory. DX11 drivers have the advantage of handling GPU memory oversubscription, which is when more memory is being requested from the GPU than available. When this happens in Vulkan, it can trigger stuttering or potential crashes. Make sure you keep an eye on your estimated memory consumption that you'll find in the graphics settings and try to reduce the texture quality or resolution of the game if you run into this. You can swap between DX11 and Vulkan at any time without any impact to the progress of your game. So make sure you use the one that's giving you the best performance with your hardware. And finally, there's something that you should always keep in mind, which is make sure your graphics drivers are up to date. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope that gives you a good rundown of what you can expect with the Vulkan implementation in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. As always, if you have any comments, you can leave them down in the comment section below, or you can reach out to the Ghost Recon Breakpoint team on their channels, which you'll also find linked in the description below. That's it for now. See you later.